Holly Willoughby is known for her love of dressing up. But the choice of gown she wore to present Dancing on Ice on Sunday night left some people wondering if she was set to walk down the aisle again with husband Dan Baldwin. The 37-year-old shared a picture of her bridal-inspired dress just minutes before the show's quarter-final show aired, with some saying it was more like a wedding dress. Scroll down for video it's a wedding dress, fans went wild for Holly Willoughby's bridal ensemble she wore to present Dancing on Ice on Sunday night's show WOW! Proving she was a blushing bride in every sense of the word, Holly looked shocked as co-host Philip Schofield made a very X-rated joke during their link steal Holly's bridal style in a skirt by Halfpenny London Halfpenny London Reary skirt click to take a closer look. By now if she wasn't already married we'd think Holly Willoughby was trying to tell us something. The presenter was positively bridal for tonight's fairy tale themed dancing on ice show in a dreamily romantic look by wedding dress label Halfpenny London. In the brand's Andrea corset and reary skirt, Holly looked absolutely beautiful. We love the trend for bridal skirts and tops rather than one-piece dresses and this frothy tall maxi is gorgeous. All those floaty layers really work to accentuate Holly's tiny waist, while the strapless corset adds a sultry edge. So if you're getting married, why not consider a skirt and top? Click right to take a closer look at Halfpenny London's collections and to find out how to make an appointment or shop our additive maxes below. Prices may not be as advertised. Now get one like at previous next £1,550 Halfpenny London Aussie Organza in Feather Tall Maxi Skirt at Net A Porter by now £140 Needle and Thread Tall Net Bridal Skirt by now £256. £74 Revolve X Michael Costello Bridal Maxi Skirt by now £170 Needle and Thread Lace Trim Tall Bridal Maxi Skirt at Netta Porter by now The Kate Halfpenny Number specializes in bridal numbers, which retail from £1,500 upwards, but it did suit Holly perfectly. The dress was in fact two pieces from the collection The Andrea Silk Corset and The Reary Skirt. The corset top was strapless in design and had ethereal ruffles in chiffon from the waist down to the floor. She shared the snap on Instagram, captioning the image with the words, Once upon a time on Et Dancing on it was fairy tale week. See you at 6 p.m. at it number when you wish upon a star dress by at half panel London shoes by at Karen Millen jewels by at Van Wickbenst. Thanks at Angia Smith style at Patsy and Ail and at Siller Pex a hairstylist number who style. Bridal Inspired, the 37-year-old shared a picture of her bridal-inspired ensemble just minutes before the show's quarter-final show aired, with some saying it was more like a wedding dress ivory ensemble, the corset top was strapless in design with the skirt featuring ethereal ruffles in chiffon from the waist down to the floor timeless elegance, the star wore her blonde locks in soft waves, while her sparkling peepers were enhanced with feline flicks of liner, and her plump pout slicked in a scarlet hue proving she was a blushing bride in every sense of the word, Holly looked shocked as co-host Philip Schofield made a very X-rated joke during their link.
and excited Holly said, we are seeing enchanted castles, wicked witches, we might even see the odd beanstalk. A whimsical Philip Schofield replied, yes the costumes are very tight as a flabbergasted Holly looked on. Miss Popular, fans went wild for Holly's Kate Halfpenny bridal gown and took to the comment section to discuss response Some fans compared Holly's dress to a toilet doll's number hot duo Another comical fan said Holly and Phil looked like they were about to walk down the aisle real life big day The dress was similar to Holly's original wedding gown When she married Dan Baldwin in 2007 her fans were rather taken with the design but couldn't help but notice it was suitable for a wedding They wrote, you look like a beautiful bride. Not my favorite, it's a wedding dress. But it looks amazing on you, if you would like to donate this to me as my wedding dress that would be amazing x. If you would like to donate this to me as my wedding dress that would be amazing zong. Holly you look like a wonderful fairy angel. One fan playfully quipped that Holly had taken inspiration from a toilet doll cover, writing how cute. Holly Willoughby's been taking fashion inspiration from Nana's house for tonight's outfit on at Dancing in East Shock, an excited Holly said, we are seeing enchanted castles, wicked witches, we might even see the odd beanstalk banter, a whimsical Philip Schofield replied, yes the costumes are very tight as a flabbergasted Holly looked on hot enough to melt the ice, fans also went wild for Holly Willoughby's style last week as she turned up the heat in a glamorous gem encrusted gown for the show last week. Holly poured her incredible physique into a gem-encrusted black gown with a decadent sash shoulder detail. The curve-hugging Basil Soda dress draped all the way down to the floor while the elegant beading ran across the delicate shoulder strap. The TV queen swept her signature blonde tresses up into a glamorous side sweeping updo with chic curled tendrils framing her face. Holly's embellished gown did all the talking with its sparkling details, while extra shimmer coming from dainty diamond earrings in her wedding band. The hosting veteran exuded glamour as she shot a sultry look off camera, with a chic winged eyeliner and glossy nude lip heightening her stunning complexion. Sparkling, Holly's embellished gown did all the talking with its sparkling details, while extra shimmer coming from dainty diamond earrings and her wedding band insta style. Earlier in the day, Holly treated her three. Three meters Instagram followers to a sneak peek of her sensational ensemble fans went wild for the glamorous jet up ahead of Sunday's show, taking to her Instagram to compliment her extravagant ensemble. One excited fan commented, hot enough to melt the ice, while another wrote, do you ever look bad? Number looking amazing. A third lovingly said, oh wow, what a beautiful dress, you look absolutely stunning, while a fourth replied, glamour personified, beautiful Holly. Do you ever look bad? Fans went wild for the glamorous jet up ahead of Sunday's Dancing on Ice, taking to her Instagram to compliment her extravagant ensemble Holly was flanked by her Dancing on Ice and this morning partner Philip Schofield, who donned a sleek all-black suit and trouser combo to match perfectly with his co-host. The blonde beauty spent some well-earned time off with a different kind of ice as she chilled in the Alps over the half-term break. In a much more casual snap, 
the former Voice UK host beamed as she said goodbye to her snow-covered holiday in a warming multi-tonal jumper. Handsome hosts, the curve-hugging Basil Soda dress draped all the way down to the floor, while the elegant beading ran across the delicate shoulder strap beaming, the TV queen swept her signature blonde tresses up into a glamorous side sweeping up to with chic curled tendrils framing her face with the incredible snow peaks behind her, Holly's platinum tresses shimmered in the bright light, while tied up into a messy bun. The This Morning favorite opted for a muted makeup palette for the picture, with only a touch of pink lipstick and a hint of mascara. Holly playfully referred to her upcoming hosting evening in the caption as she welcomed the end of the half-term breaking, writing, Goodbye Alps. Heading home for more ice of the dancing variety. Hosting duties, the hosting veteran exuded glamour as she shot a sultry look off camera, with a chic winged eyeliner and glossy nude lip heightening her stunning complexion dream team, Holly was flanked by her dancing on ice, and this morning partner Philip Schofield, who donned a sleek all-black suit and trouser combo to match perfectly with Holly icy climbs, the blonde beauty spent some well-earned time off with a different kind of ice as she chilled in the Alps over the half-term break before returning home, 